Hey Jack. Hello. How are you? <laughs> Better than that can. <laughs> Fine mate, how are you? I'm alright. Jack, I've yeah. got a question for you. Fire away. Do you like Die Hard? I love Die Hard. Do you like amputees? Where's this going? Don't be discriminatory. Oh, I was improvising. Yeah, yeah. What am I meant to say to that? Do you, no, it's a question. Do you like amputees? Yeah, why not? Do you like Die Hard and amputees smashed together? I can't really imagine what that would be like. Bruce Willis killing a load of cripples? Be a good film, I suppose. Or... Skyscraper. Ah, skyscraper! Or as I like to call it, one-legged diehard. <laughs> Just a little nervous. Well, wow, you look very handsome. I just don't want to screw it up, you know? You have been preparing for this meeting for six months. You've got this. Let me ask you guys a question. Daddy loves who? Me. Daddy loves who? Me! Me! Exactly. Daddy's gonna go make that bacon. Gross. So, Jack, one-legged diehard. We're back. What? We're back. We haven't done a video in a while, have we? But no. It's a good one. What? The video or the, the film? Both. Tell me about the film, then. Um, One-legged sky, hard. <laughs> uh, so, it's basically about a skyscraper. Yep. Um, yep. And they go to a skyscraper and things go horribly wrong. Oh. It's a brand new skyscraper, it's peak of technology. Yeah, in Hong Kong, we have the biggest in the world mm -hmm. called the Pearl. The Pearl. Correct. And The Rock has his family there. Yeah. And some baddies attack it. Because The Rock is in charge of security. Yes. Or safety precautions. Something like that. Yeah. And things go horribly wrong. And, mm -hmm. he's, and he's got to get out with his family. Or he's. Yes. Or does he? And the head it's on fire. It's on. It's, it's on, on. Yeah. Yeah. It's on fire. Help. My building's on fire. Mm -hmm. um, so that's the premise. Take it you like to. You know what I sort of annoys me a little bit. Mm. I remember once, right, where The Rock was doing an interview. Yep. And he said in this interview, he's never, he's, he'll never do a film where he's sort of he loses out basically. Do you know what I mean? No. So he always wants to be the hero in in any film. All oh, right. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Now. Going off that, mm. he's every film he's going to be in, he's going to end up. I don't want to breach spoilers, but you just sort of know what's going to happen. You know what I mean? Rocks. It's the, it's very stereotypical to me. Where Rocks, the big hench dude, who's going to save everyone. Yeah, he, yeah, he's very typecast in one role, mm. isn't he? He's always the hero. Um, well, recently, anyway. You look at Rampage, it's the same sort of stuff, you know what yeah. I mean? There's only one man that can do this job. Mm. It's, it's the same in, what's the um, one where he's a pilot and the world's blown up? San Andreas. Yeah, yeah, it's the same it's thing. All, it's all the same sort of role. But that's The Rock. He's, uh, what, what, I don't, what else is a guy that impossibly big going to do? Yeah, I don't fault him for it at all, because he's the highest paid actor in the world now. Do you know mm. what I mean? So, he can't be doing a lot wrong. No. But I just think it's very cliche now, and it's very like I love the rock to bits. But you want to do something else? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's come so a bit of a one-trick pony. The, yeah. So that aside, I thought this was one of his better films. Mm. This is more I mean, entertaining con compared to Rampage. Yeah. I'm comparing it to that because that was probably his last one he did. Yeah. It was leaps. It was a country mile better. Yeah. This is written and directed by. Rawson Marshall Thurber. Rawls. Hold on, Rawls. And, um, yeah, it's alright. He actually, he and The Rock collaborated on, um, the one with Kevin Hart. Oh, uh, Central Intelligence. Yeah. 
Okay. And he's normally a comedy director. So with that in mind, is it, this is all right. Yeah, it's good then. Yeah. Who else is in this? Um, the Rock's the good guy. We have um, his wife, Nick yeah. Campbell. Mm -hmm. She's all right, isn't it? Yeah, she's good. She's, she's a typical um, mother. Yes, but I like the fact that um, she's not just a useless mm. woman without fraying into yeah, spoilers. Yeah, she has a useless. She can handle herself. Yeah, definitely. Um, she's not the damsel in distress. Which the premise would believe you to, yeah, but b believe you to think, mm -hmm, lead, so, lead yeah. you. She's not going to stand there and go, I can't move, save me. Yeah, she does. She does the best she can. Yeah. Um, we have um, Pablo Shriva as mm -hmm. the Rock's buddy. He's right in it. Yeah. Um, no, and then we have um, um, the business guy, Lau from the Dark Knight. Lau, yeah. Um, he got. He caught a big break, didn't he? Yeah, he was only in it for a bit in Dark Knight. Yeah, he's done alright. He's, he's one of the main characters in this. I think he suits it quite nice. He's fine. And um, without spoilers, everyone's alright. Hmm? Um, well, the, the cast was pretty pretty solid, really, wasn't it? You can't hmm. really go a lot, a lot wrong with them. Yeah, everyone's performance was fine for a, a film where you have a 4,000 story building that's yeah. on fire. Yeah. Mr. Sawyer. Is your family enjoying their stay? Very much so. They're shocked you gave us the entire floor. Cinematography, yeah, it's a burning building. The building looks all right. Yeah. What was it? I don't... I say props. They're, every time he's up high, it feels like he's up high. Yeah. You know, like it looks like you're looking down. You get a bit of vertigo, didn't you, sometimes? Yeah, like some films don't make you think that it's up high, whereas you feel like, well, okay, this is a this big is building. Well high, yeah. yeah. Um, and as far really... as the plot goes for action sequences, I feel like this film is a load of set pieces. Like, why would the tower be built in such a way mm. where, you know, like the, there's turbines and crap? I feel like they did, they thought, we'll have this set piece and we'll have this set piece and we'll have this set piece and we'll stick them together and then we'll make the tower fit. Yeah. Yeah, they so, built the tower around sort of sort of what's happening. Yeah, like um, for instance, they put a fo mm, it's not really for spoilers, but the, the, there's a forest in this skyscraper. Yeah, probably the worst thing you can have when a f fire comes. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's just like there's no need. I mean, they look pretty, but it's just like really. It's because on. they need a set piece for them to jump over an open bit. Yeah, with woods beneath them. Yeah, so but I mean, it looked nice. It wasn't nothing was sort of. You know, there was one bit where I was a bit iffy of uh, the crane scene. I thought it looked right. It could look better. I thought it looked better than it did in the trailer. Because True. the jump that you see in the trailer... Um, it was about 19 foot. Yeah, it's not physically possible, whereas in the film, they've narrowed the gap a bit. It looks believable. Yeah. I thought this film was going to be, based on the trailer, a load of nonsical stuff that you would never believe in the world, like jumping thousands of feet, yeah. climbing up the side of a building, you know, like running through fire, whereas actually it's quite believable, it, which is what makes me think of Die Hard. Like, he does a few set pieces mm. where they've gone... Uh, uh, you know, we haven't tried to copy, but it it's pretty similar. There's yeah, there's two there's two points that I thought was are just ridiculous, but we'll get to that in spoilers. Mm. Um, I think you probably already know the first one. I'm gonna say. Are, is there any music? Not really. It's all very tense. Very you know. Oh my god, what's gonna happen? Music. You know what I mean? Really sort of. It, yeah, it's it's just drama, isn't it? Yeah, it's standard. Just to just to build the tension a little bit. After your security assessment, what do you think of the building? With all due respect, he's a glorified security guard. Please. The Pearl is the tallest, most advanced building in the world. You've built a vertical city, but you've brought with it every single safety and security challenge that I could think of. What I've got to say is, it's better than I thought. It's all mm, right. I, mean. I didn't regret seeing it. Mm. It's not too long. There's enough action spread out that you don't get bored. Yeah. Um, Did he... There's a few one little go on, sorry. Semi twists and turns that keep mm. you interested. Not that you can't see though. 
you know what I mean? Not mm. that you'd be like, oh my god, it's not, it's not fall off your chair stuff, is it? Oh, well, no, no, this is made for a general audience no. where, you know, it, the standard movie you're an idiot has to realise mm -hmm, it. Mm -hmm. I've got one little question. Yeah. Is it really necessary for him to have one leg? No. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, This film could be the exact same if he had two. He had two, that's what I'm saying. But I like it because they don't make a big deal of it. Mm. It's enough. subtle. Yeah, because I think if amputees were watching this film, they're not. you don't get many amputees in film anymore, do you? No. Unless they've got their arm chopped off. Mm. And then generally speaking, Luke Skywalker, uh, etc. They just get another robot hand, which yeah. is just as good, if not better. Um, this, he limps all the time, kind of, and he takes painkillers to stop the pain, yeah. which I thought was good. Which is a bit more believable for actual amputees. But as far as the plot goes, it didn't make a difference. No, I enjoyed, really? I mean, I enjoyed the opening scene where you find out how he lost his leg. Yeah. But, is, but part of me is thinking, the fact that it doesn't make a difference, is that a good thing? Mm. Because it shows that if you lose a leg, you're not useless. Yeah. Yeah, I think there is sort of... I think they could have done more with it, maybe. Yeah, maybe a hidden message in there, which is nice. I'm not knocking it. I just thought, is it really necessary? Yeah, not really. But, you know, that's what they did. Mm. There's one action scene where he does lose his leg and he's hopping about. Yeah. That was quite good. Yeah. But the rock's so big, a hopping rock can still yeah. is still ten times more dangerous than a normal man. <laughs> I would not want to be that leg. It, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We thought this floor was empty. So did I. Not only have you brought them all indoors, but you've trapped them 240 floors in the air. No one really knows what would happen if things go wrong. I ain't got a lot of spoilers to say, but... Spoilers! I'm uh, going to start off hmm. by saying props to the, uh, the equipment in this film, because they managed to find the world's strongest rope. <laughs> that I, that is my only issue with this film. And me. The rock must weigh a ton. Yeah. And if anyone was able to climb outside of a building and swing on and hold on to windows and be dangling by a rope, it's not the rock. The rock, <laughs> yeah. He's he too got, big. He got a bit like Spider Man, and I was like, uh, what? He's a I bit... lost track of what I was watching. I was it, like, it, you know, what? rock hanging from a uh, a, a window. Yeah. With a, with, I don't know, an ornament. With sticky tapes? Yeah, with and duct tape on his hands. <laughs> I know. How strong is this duct tape? Because I want to. <laughs> if it can hold the rock, it can hold the world together. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I wasn't, I wasn't too uh, crazy about that. the part that made me laugh, you know when he steals, he steals like the police bike. Yeah. And it's like a, it's a massive, it's, a, it's a standard it it, it's, big police bike, but when the rock gets on, it's it like a moped. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a hairdryer, doesn't it? All it had to do was in front of scoot it. <laughs> but I'm just a glorified security guard, so what the hell do I know anyway? The bad guy I thought was a bit crap. This the, is where it's die hard. The double turn. The double, you know, um, what's his name? He was like, haha, I'm working for them. Noah Taylor. Yeah. Who I thought was Ben Mendelsohn. It's not, it's another time. Oh, really? Yeah, they look the same. Did you think it was Mendo? Oh. I thought, I know who you were on about, and I was like, oh yeah, that is him. It's no, cool it's enough. Noah Taylor from Game of Thrones, not Ben Mendo from S Star Wars. Uh, oh, they, yeah, cool. They look exactly the same. Oh, why? That's weird, that is. Yeah, it is weird, isn't it? But, um, yeah, it's all that He should have been the baddie. He should have been in yeah. charge. Yeah. I think they wrote him a bit wrong, to be honest. He, was, he, was he like, ended up useless, <laughs> didn't he? Oh. I just when remembered something. Yeah, he was like, what did you actually do in this film? Nothing. That, uh, they just put it in to try and shock you. It's like, oh, he's a baddie too, even though it was blatantly obvious. Mm. But then they kill him straight away. <laughs> Can we move? <laughs> Can we move on to parachutes? Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's this? Google. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Parachute! <laughs> On the box it says parachute.com. <laughs> yeah, what was the make? I have no idea, I've uh, even forgotten. Yeah, it. I know. But Did we they... actually Googled it, didn't yeah. we? Oh man, if I could think of the make, I'd put it in. Even put it on images. I know. <laughs> in the film. 
Google Google images. images. <laughs> oh, that's what they use. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. I wonder true. what they're doing with that. <laughs> well, that was a bit of speed. That lost oh, no. me a little bit. Oh, as you've well. got these high trained commandos and they're wandering around with a label still in the box. <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't like them. No, I liked no, them as secondary villains. Like, he should have been working for someone else. Mm. Because they're like a military group that you yeah. hire. Yeah, they're, you hire. They're not the, the big baddies, are they? No. It just felt like the, there should have been another guy. And I didn't like the fact that he was foreign because then, especially the ending, was it's just diehard. Yeah. It's like they've gone, big building, set it on fire, dangle out the window using a rope, make sure the baddies like German or something. Yeah, make sure the family are safe. Yeah. Everyone's happy at the end. Yeah. Oh, no. The only thing he didn't do was get a vest. <laughs> yeah. I was expecting him to take his um, take we'll... his shirt off. <laughs> no, like a wife beater. Right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> What's going on? The 96th floor is on fire. You're going to be just fine, I promise you that. No, 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 no! Daddy! Tell me, how much do you love your family? You... Noticed it a little before me. Room where they had the fight, last fight. It was so obvious it was going to be in there. Oh yeah, but as soon as you get in there and it's got the hologram, right? Right. My mm. issue with this film is th this dude spent billions on this building, yeah. Yeah. And he says the best thing in the world. It's going to be what the ninth wonder. He says it's going to be the most, the biggest attraction mm -hmm. ever mm -hmm. in the whole world. Has he not heard of Disneyland? <laughs> because. I'd rather go to Disneyland than... No, but it's a load of monitors, yeah. yeah? And he says it makes you feel like you're flying. Yeah. Why not just make it out of glass? Yeah. <laughs> it is pretty stupid. It's it? 7,000 feet in the air. Just make it out of glass. And no, you don't no. have to spend millions on monitors. We'll just have screens. Or, if you've got all the screens... Why don't do it on the floor? Put it on the floor. <laughs> and then make it seem like you're in the sky. Yeah. Why do yeah, you put in it in... Space. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The sky's the limits. Yeah, exactly. Well, a bit further than the sky. The Space. Got, we've got, we'll build the biggest building in the world. We'll stick a ball on top. And then we'll put cameras on the outside of the ball. <laughs> and show you on the inside of the ball. <laughs> and that's the biggest attraction in the world. Just keep the balls at the top. And keep the room on the bottom. It doesn't make no sense. Yeah. Uh, and the fact that it was just a weird hologram room. You know what it was? Um, is it Enter the Dragon where they have the mirror fight at the end? I can tell you. You know the Bruce Lee film? Mm. Oh, well, basically, any film that has a mirror fight, yeah. John Wick 2 did better. Yeah, that, yeah. John where, Wick 2 was awesome. Yeah, where you have a fight of mirrors and they thought, we can't use mirrors. Because that looks exactly the same yeah, as everything else. everything else. So let's use holograms that make that basically act like mirrors. Yeah. And the ending, right? Okay. Hear me out. Go ahead. The baddie's facing here, yeah? Mm. He's looking he's facing the other way, the baddie, with the kid. Yeah. Homage to the start. That was fine. I like that. It's yeah, like, yeah, ooh, yeah. a little callback. Uh, we, um, we called that before he even turned Yes, around. but he t he turns round to the rock. So he's facing this way, yeah? Yeah. You're the rock. I've got your kid. What are we doing? Rural accents is right now. I'm it's for... facing this way, yeah? I'm foreign, aren't I? Oh, is that what you're going for? Oh, sorry, I thought yeah. you were London. Uh, I'm foreign, I have your child, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> uh, listen, yeah, right, sorry. and Oof. then you, you're the rock, and the rock's like... Yeah. The rock, the rock... Because I've got no air. Yeah. The rock's there, doesn't he? And he turns round, yeah? So now I'm facing you, mm. doesn't he? Mm. And then the, they have that show uh, showdown, yeah? Mm. And then the rock puts down his gun, and then he's like, I've been behind you all the time. That's where I was just looking! <laughs> <laughs> How does that make sense? I was facing this way. Why didn't he see him? Well, I, I was facing that way when he walked up. I turned around to face a hologram. You're telling me you're actually behind... They've shot himself in the foot, basically. Basically, with, with no logic. And you know what? I Until I thought, what? Uh, I never even noticed until you just said it, to be fair. But it's stupid, That's though. a very good point. <laughs> so where the f*** is he? Uh, I would like to change my worth of watch <laughs> answer. <laughs> but that's just... I bet most people won't even notice, because they'll just think, oh, oh what's behind him? What a twist. It's behind him, and then he was behind him, behind him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> 
Um, that's all I've got to say, mate. Um, have you got anything else to say? Have you, have you got anything else to say? A little bit comical on the, uh, the, the crane bit where he locks them out. I, yeah, well, I thought that was funny. Uh, yeah, I'm not knocking it. I like that. The way and, he sort and of goes. <laughs> yeah, past. <laughs> <Walked past. laughs> Sorry, guys. I enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, I, mean, I like the fact he's casual. I do like the fact that he's an army guy, so it makes sense that he's a badass. Yeah, but you know. I don't care how badass you are. You can't jump from a crane to a window, miss it, get impaled by glass, and still hang on. Yeah, but and drag yourself up. But you're not the rock. Mm. If anyone can do that, plus his leg might be springy. You ever thought of that? Oh, if he yeah. got a springy leg, that's what they could have done. Okay. If they could, if they'd given him an Oscar pistol, your girlfriend blade, you'd be all right, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then it'd fall through the holes in the in the crane. Because oh, it's a I don't know. I don't know how fake no. legs work. No, no, no. Um, I haven't got one. Family is the only thing that matters to me right now. Uh, is this film worth a watch? Um, I'd say go and watch it. Would ya? <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm me. You stopped me from talking just to say that. Roll credits. So that was Skyscraper. We hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like, leave a comment, press the bell so it'll notify you whenever new stuff comes out. We'll have more film reviews here. I'm doing it again. You can just put it anywhere. Film reviews knocking about somewhere, you have to click it. Game reviews knocking about somewhere, you'll have to click it. And gameplay videos knocking about somewhere. Probably on my head somewhere. It's going to make me look like a fool anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Tell them what they're called. Hmm? What? Tell them what they're called. Worth a watch. Worth a watch, crappy clips. And shit or not. What's the other one? Fun or flop. Oh, yeah, fun or flop. It's close. Follow us on Twitter, I thoughts on Twitter, Average Thoughts Gram on Instagram, where you'll find out what we do behind the scenes. Which isn't a lot, really. I'll do.